Okay, in this video we will talk about giving different signs to a graph. Like we have want to plot multiple y offset plots. Let me first go to here and let's say this is a file which I have multiple y offset. So this is uh, in the exercise I have just designed this file in order to make the plotting easier. So this plot is here. And now in this plot we are having uh, well, FTIR spectra and FTIR spectra are the glass samples for example gold doped glass, silver doped uh, BK7 and silver doped silica. So now here I want to plot this data this is the FTIR means the reference glass glass treated it some conditions here so if I plot this one select this and just plot then I will have a plot like this now in this plot it is really very really hard to see that uh, the locations of the veins is they are overlapping each other and it is very really hard to decide so in such a situation we will not plot such a graph let me these are selected and let me go to another option and here it is the offset y plot so here we are having different options and these two options which is the staked lines by y offset this one is the same is this one that we stake them uh, this one is with the y offset means the y axis will not be the values will not be taken into account as they are the offset values they have been just staked one above the other while in this one this is not with y offset we will have different axes for each of them so let's say if I plot it with this stake lines by y offset and the spectrum will be like this. So this is the plot which is uh, in which we can very easily locate the position of the veins and we can see them all together. If the y axis values will be required for us and this one these values have no meaning as they are with the offset values uh, each of them is having some big round and they are just take one above the other in the case we will have um, we will have the requirement to show different y axis then we will have to go to this y state and here it is now you can see that each one of them is having its own axis plotted with them so this plot this plot and this one are actually the same but this one is having the actual axis with it and that was having the offset values so i can just go to this plot whenever the y-axis values are important or they are to scale for the moment i will be discussing not this one but this plot okay let's start with this one here i will have to design it uh, according to the specifications are the requirement that I will have for this plot. The very first one, the line seems very thin, so I will increase their width to around three. And now they are here. Secondly, the legends are not adjustable, even if I remove the box from it. Then these legends are Mm, pretty much not well positioned I can increase their spacing and it will be very hard that 
they will just go like this if I go here I go here and I just increase their spacing let's say to 40 and I apply then it is here and if I even increase up to 100 and apply then they are here okay I want to increase them up to 200 so they are here now they are not perfectly sitting over their respective this one is fine this one is almost fine is fine this one is not good so if i increase the spacing more like to 250 then i can see that some will come above and some below like this one now this is having a problem so in such a situation i will have to get rid of this legend the legend which is automatically given to it will get rid of this one and then i will manually put the labels here in such a situation another thing that uh, i can do is to go to the r2 spacing apply and now they are here and i can adjust them on the top of the figure means the legends are so lengthy that they cannot be put on top of the figure maybe in two lines they will work so i will see the legends after a while but first let's do this thing that the axes should be starting from 400 to 4000 so from 4000 they are always in reverse order it's a common practice and apply and now the figure is like this i can change this one to 400 and as i have plotted them in reverse normally it is like this the fti aspect are plotted in reverse new number order so 400 to this and then if i give minus 400 so it will show me the values and this is apply and now you can see that starting from 400 and now the axis is fine the y axis is meaningless so select this one okay if i want to have the lines here and here i will have to go to the grids and then on the vertical i will select the opposite and on the horizontal i will select the opposite and i will say okay so now my figure is almost done if for example i want to uh, change their colors and this then i have done it already in the previous video this one if for example this is fine and acceptable then i will now start with the legends and the legends are that the first one is the reference slg so i just copy this and i paste here and i just write it here and then this one and this is the next one and i paste here okay similarly this one and i paste here one by one and copy paste here and similarly okay one remaining so this one and i paste here now in order to align them is they are not aligned the easiest way is to make a vertical line here okay one thing you will have to be careful this line should not have any bent okay and here it is okay is not having any bend now even if it have then i will have to remove it like this select here and then with the help of arrow keys this can be removed very easily 
you know they are fine and now I can move this line and here you can see that I will have to put the middle of the box there so this one the middle of the box is here similarly on this one I can move middle of the box here with this one I can I can adjust the alignment of this one now they are fine so I will remove this one and delete it now I have designed my graph one and now for the rest I have just for example this one and I just select and plot and it is like this okay so I will have to avoid this plot as well I will have to plot this with the y offset the stakes okay here they are and here is this one now this plot is ready but I want to have it like this one so I just select the plot right click copy format and all and I come here and face format so they are now in this style the legend I will have to do manually for this one as well the rest is fine in accordance with this similarly the third one I can just select go to the plot and I can paste the format here as well so now my figure is ready I will have to paste the legends here manually and now this thing is okay it's the figure we can now merge these figures in one figure which I will cover in the coming videos so our figure will look like um, hopefully like this one this I will do in the future videos that how to merge the figures to get something like this one figure thank you